In the previous lesson, we have seen how um, one can work with uh, text in presentation. Remember, we were manipulating text that's in the text box and we were changing the text properties of the text boxes. Now, let's go further and look at uh, how one can work with paragraphs in Microsoft PowerPoint. If we take the slide, which is our second slide, we will see that uh, the slide is made up of bulleted points, um, the paragraph uh, which is made up of bulleted points. We're going to see how one can change um, and move in between bulleted points and numbering. For example, if we want to change this uh, numbering type into numbers instead of bullets, we can go into um, the bullets and numbers, tap on uh, your home tab and look at the kind of uh, numbering that we want for our uh, presentation. Let's pick up uh, the numbering. Now, our um, slide is now made up of numbering instead of a bulleted list. We can go on to change the um, alignment of this text inside the slide. Let's look at um, the various options that we're having there under the paragraph group. We can actually center align this text. We can actually left align the text. So if we click on left align and right align, we can then uh, move in between aligning text, right, left, and center. Let's leave uh, this uh, formatting into the left alignment. We can then go in and change the line spacing in our paragraph. If you click in there, you can be able to change um, the spacing in your paragraph um, depending on what your presentation requires. Let's pick up 2.5 as our paragraph spacing. Now, our slide is now formatted into different numbering and now a different paragraph type. Now that we are done with our paragraph uh, formatting, let's look at how one can format the slide for background. By default, Microsoft PowerPoint gives you a blank slide which is a white background and a black uh, typing or black text to type. Now if you want to go in and change uh, the background on your uh, paragraph you can use various methods. You can go in and use the design tab. On the design tab you can go in and select the pre-designed themes again to actually make sure that uh, your slides looks according to that particular theme. But in this example, let's go in and format the background. Now, by formatting background, you can now choose the colors on your slides. So you can use whether to fill your slide with a different color. You can use um, patterns. You can use gradient to fill in your slide. Let's quickly go in there and select pattern. You will now see that uh, our slide now has got a pattern on it. We can go in and say we need our slide to have a gradient feel. So you will see that uh, the slide has got a gradient feel. You can quickly go in and change the color uh, of, of uh, the, the gradient feel. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, and let's go in and change our uh, fill into a picture or texture fill. Now you can also go in and uh, take a picture to be a part of your uh, your, 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 your fill. 